Hello, welcome. We want to look at how we can draw or construct an ellipse using foci method. Now, foci in plural and then singular is focus. So we are going to have two focal points and that's why we are referring to it as foci. So in this case, we, for us to construct an ellipse using foci method, we need the major axis, which is 120, and we also need the minor axis, which is 50 millimeter. So we are going to construct our major axis. Then we shall also construct our minor axis. So having the straight edge, let's say we want to start a construction of our major axis from there. We can first of all align our paper the edge then we draw our axis once we have this we can have another axis that is going to act like a vertical now we come to the line anywhere in the midway we can have our vertical axis here which will give us the minor axis so we have our minor axis we have our minor axis it's a continuation now from there because our major is 120, we can use a compass that to measure 120. But now, because we are going to start from the center, it means we measure 60 on one side, then we measure 60 on the other side. So this is 60. We make an arc. Also make an arc on this other side, giving us 60. From there, we again. Now, we now measure for our minor axis, which is 50. And therefore, we have to measure 25. This is 25. So we have it at 25 here, we have another 25 there. Once we have that, we can name so that this one becomes A, this one becomes B, this becomes C, this one becomes D. The next thing, our next step is to get the focus, the two focal points which we are referring to as the foci. To get them, we need to take the compass, come to C, C with radius OB, we are calling this as O, with C with radius OB. So we take the radius, OP at C we make an arc here we make another arc here along AB so we are going to call this one as focal point 1 this one we call it focal point 2 so once we have focal point 1 and our focal point 2, we can also have some other divisions along AO and then OB. Divisions equal divisions at any arbitral value, at least 3 or 4. So we can have the first one, 
वन टू थ्री दिस केस लेट्स यूज थ्री और वी कैन स्टिल हैव फोर बट लेट इट्स बी थ्री देन अगेन ऑन दिस अदर साइड वी हैव वन टू थ्री Once we have them, we can name from focal point one as one, two, three. Then we can also name as one, two, three. So next, we are going to take a one. That means. We start with A1. At center, F. We make F1. We make four X. With A1 again at F2. We are going to have the compass. We take the distance a one. Come with it at f one. We make an arc up, an arc down. Come with it at f two. You make an arc up. You also make an arc down. So now you change. You take a two at f one and f two again. So you come and pick a two. At f one, you make knock. You make a knock. I come at F two. Make an arc. You also make an arc. Then you come and take A three at F one and F two. Take A three. A three at F one. F one. And at F two. In that order. Once we are through with that, we can proceed. Proceeding here, it means we start again by set of B one at F one and F two. B one, we come here, look for one. Once you pick B one, we stand with it at F. One, you cross the first set of x, then you close, then you come at f two with the same b one. You cut, you cut. Of course, this one here was to continue. Actually, it was f one. They have to cut. Good. Next, we come to B two at F one and F two. So now again, come to B two.
b2 at f1 we cut the second set we cut it we come at f2 we cut the second set we cut the second set and then lastly we take b3 at f1 and f2 so come to b remember we are taking from this side to the end b3 at f1 l7 g8 we cut we cut then again at f2 we cut we cut once you have cut remember these ones are not so clear so you remember this one here we cut it by taking a2 if you want to have it elongated a2 we start with it at f1 to have it extended okay and this one here we took a3 at f1 so come here you can elongate it now once you have those intersection between the set of axes you can join using your uh, continuous line to give us the ellipse that we want now ellipse will start from a to b through c and d going through all the points of intersection it should be smooth so we can continue joining them You join through B cos all those points of intersection through D. Then again come back here, join them till it comes to the end. This one becomes our ellipse using cosine method. Do you realize that uh, it's making some sharp and which should not be the case it should be a curve on like this other side and this line should be a continuous line all through so in short that is how we can construct an ellipse using cosine method thank you